All right, what's going on, everybody? Sorry, it's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, been a little busy with other things going on. Um, but hopefully I'm gonna start uploading again, get the car back out. I know it's been a while. Um, but today, I'm putting this big thing back in there. Um, I had this little one, which did a decent job at cooling the car, like kind of putting around town, not really doing much, but me and my buddies are starting to go to places further and it doesn't cool as well on the highway. I don't know if it's just been like because it's been crazy hot out lately or what. Um, I do have electric water pump and it really just doesn't cool well on the highway. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this big radiator back in there. Uh, but I am moving from the traditional uh, radiator hoses like on that one i don't know if you can see it um, that one you saw it about 30 seconds ago but i'm transferring or i guess moving all my radiator hoses i guess changing the style up to these an fittings um, basically what this is going to do is allow me to pretty much run a braided stainless steel type of um, hose and the reason I'm doing this to begin with, well, the long story is, is that I was gonna put this, you know, 90 degree piece of pipe on there. Um, I ordered inch and a half. This is inch and a half, right? It fit up here perfect. I was like, oh cool, it, the bottom one's gotta be the same, right? Well, no, the bottom one is, is one and three quarter. Um, I kinda have been putting videos off too because I hate doing anything with antifreeze and that's all that the car is needed and I just kind of said screw it it's been too hot to drive it anyway um, I'm just gonna let it sit so <laughs> here we are it's starting to cool off a little bit in my area um, I'm gonna weld this on here and I have another one and I'm going to basically make a thermostat housing I do run a thermostat I know some people say you shouldn't whatever when you have an electric water pump um, but I am going to because that's what I did before um, well before I took that radiator out and it worked fine so I gotta trace this kinda just I might just end up doing a somewhat square piece of aluminum I don't know yet it depends how good I want it to look how much time I want to spend on it is really the main the main thing um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I gotta trace that out. Well, I guess that doesn't have to be in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this started, trace that out, get a piece cut somewhat in this range, <laughs> drill a hole. Uh, basically, I'm gonna make it out of cardboard first, make sure it's exactly how I wanted, then trace it onto a piece of aluminum. Probably just use eighth inch over there. Um, Actually, this might be too thin. Yeah, it's too little. Um, but cut it out on, on my big sheet over there. Get this welded on there. Go buy a couple fittings. And basically, I'm just gonna use a 90 degree, fit, 90 degree fitting off of here. And it's gonna 90, you know, this way. It's gonna run up along the front of this. And it's gonna run to this side of the water pump. Pretty much how you see it. Um, it's gonna come up this way and loop up there. I gotta get an adapter for this. Uh, not from this, but where it screws in up here. I'll just get whatever size that is. I don't know, half inch or inch NPT. I don't know what size it is, but I'll be able to find an adapter for it. That way I can run this down here. So I'm gonna try to clean this up quite a bit better because it's really nasty. Um, and then I'm gonna get this welded on there. Uh, first bung welded on. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. The shadows are kind of bad. It's alright. I mean, this old aluminum kind of... It's got a lot of shit built in it. Not built in it, but soaked in. Um, so hopefully it doesn't leak, but it looks alright. Um... I gotta get cracking on that, like I said, so I will get back to you guys here in a second. Alright, what's up guys? I don't know where I left off. 
This is again like two weeks later. I've had no motivation because it's been so hot lately, but now uh, it's starting to cool off, so it's time to get this thing back on the road. Um, I don't know, I think I talked something about making the uh, thermostat housing. So I basically just traced it with a piece of paper, like you do when you're a kid. <laughs> and basically put it on this piece of aluminum. Um, I'm probably gonna trim it still, but I just wanna make sure it fits before I put too much work into making it look nice. Um, so now I'm just drilling this hole and uh, once this is all done, I'm basically just gonna make sure it fits right with the thermostat in it. And then once I know it fits right, I'm gonna set that other fitting. I don't know where it is. There it is. Put this other fitting on there. And uh, yeah, hopefully it all fits right. I don't know, I traced the hole, but I'm gonna set this in there, get it all welded up, make sure it fits. And then once it fits, I'm gonna start trimming this and try to make it just this piece of aluminum. So yeah, I just wanna show you guys what I was doing now. Keep you guys updated. I know I haven't done a good job at it, so. Got this somewhat drilled. It's not perfectly in the center, but I left some on that edge too, so I can just take a Dremel and make it a little bit bigger if I need to. Actually, just go all the way. That's a good way to mess those bits up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna let this cool off and see if it bolts on there and see if it fits the housing in it. All right, we're in the very early stages of development, so please refrain from making fun of this. But I think it's gonna work. Maybe not. I think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna have to dent these in a little bit. Should be fine, hopefully. Um, Cause when I try to sit this on there, it's not completely flat. Maybe I can go get a little piece of aluminum, space it out. I don't know, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, fast forward another week, two weeks. Finally, got some stuff going. Got some Dash 16 fittings. Obviously, this is not the way it looks. <laughs> um, got one for the bottom two. I probably should have got a 90, but I think I can make that work. I think that'll work perfectly because it's gonna have some hose flex and come around and it's gonna loop up to the water pump. Already got the fitting off, uh, the old fitting off and got this new one on. Um, and that's all prepped, ready to go. I found out that, I don't know if I filmed this earlier, but if I did, I'm just gonna put it in now. So these stock style water pumps, this is why the old thermostat housing I had leaked. When it sits flush in there, well, when it sits in there, it hits on the inside of the fitting on this part. And so I tried hitting it with a hammer a little bit to make some clearance. Probably just gonna get like two gaskets <laughs> and just double gasket it and it should be plenty. Um, but yeah, track, big track event tomorrow. So I'm busting my ass to finish this. I got tons of stuff around here I gotta do. I've been selling a bunch of old parts and shit. <laughs> it's a mess in here. Uh, it's been forever, I'm sorry. I think yesterday <laughs> you saw me uh, finishing something up? I don't know. No, actually that was two days ago. It's been a long weekend. I ended up going and getting this 20 inch flex hose from O'Reilly's. Um, and I took the thermostat out completely because I don't know what I did with it. But uh, basically any of these flat kind of housings uh, don't work. I had bought one previously that was a Moroso that it kept leaking on. I couldn't figure out why, but it's because any of those flat ones like that, um, if you have like a standard small block Ford thermostat, they don't fit inside a Dash 16 fitting. Um, I doubt any of you guys probably care about that, but um, for some of you that do, I guess that's, I don't know, good information, I guess. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I went to the track Friday. Um, I am going to be posting more stuff, uh, I guess, about that. Um, 
But yeah, I wanted to keep you guys uh, updated on what I'm doing and see how I made these fittings and stuff. Um, put this back in there so I can cruise with it. So, hope you guys enjoy.